Anybody that's been to a drag race knows that racers are definitely not shy when it comes to expressing their patriotism and love for America. And you would be hard pressed to find any car that shows that more than this car, this Comet of Dick Lux. In God We Trust, on this side of the car, I'm gonna walk you around to the other side where it says one nation under God and Dick even has veterans sign the hood of this car as well as a thank you for their service so Dick Lux how you doing I'm well I'm well happy where do you come from San Antonio Texas and Took us two days, we take it easy, I'm retired, you know. Oh, so you have time to burn, all right. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about your car and if you could pop the hood, please, for us. Well, it's a 64 Comet Cyclone and uh, it's been a race car since the 70s. Uh, I was lucky to, enough to buy it about 15 years ago and uh, I had it repainted, not because my wife let me, it was because I hit the wall in Gainesville. <laughs> but um, it was at a time when people were, uh, I don't know, bad mouth of the country and bad mouth of this and that. So I had a, had a painted in a patriotic uh, theme. But it's a great car. I love Mercury Comics. Crazy about my Mercury, you know. Now the car used to have a 289 uh, factory motor in it. I'm but sorry? now the car used to have a 289 factory motor in it. But yeah. now it's been changed because it runs in the factory GT class. Factory GT means that it has a motor out of one of the newer Cobra, uh, Cobra Jet Mustangs, correct? Uh, yeah, it's a 2010 352 push rod motor that was used apparently for uh, Mustang Cobra Jets. Uh, 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 it, uh, it, that's what all I can say. It's, it has Holly fuel injection. And uh, it's something I had to learn, but uh, you know, you always got to keep learning in order to stay young. And I'm not young, but I'm trying to be. So <laughs> here, I'll show you the motor. Yeah, okay? let's take a look. All right, so it definitely looks different than the last time I've seen under the hood of this car, where yeah. it used to have its 289 Mercury motor with the Autolite carburetor. Now we have fuel injection with the Holly system, as stated before, and. Dick, what kind of times have you been turning out this weekend? Well, I, I just ran a, a, a 10 21, and uh, it seems like every weekend I'm learning the injection more and more, and uh, it, you know, I, it, it just gets faster and faster every weekend, but it's playing with it. I'm still learning. Yeah, well, that's, that's what fuel yeah. injection is. It's definitely a learning curve, yeah. and if you're anything like me, it can be an overthink curve where you just want to keep touching it and making it faster and faster. So, I, I feel you. What yeah. kind of transmission are you running in the car? I, I'm running a Joel C4 with a brake and uh, uh, electric neutral. And uh, I used to run a stick shift all the time. And uh, be very honest with you, a stick shift is a lot more fun than an automatic. But I, I'm a little too old for that. And I don't have a crew, I have my wife, and that's about it. Yeah. I just got a little old and fat to crawl under the car all the time, you know? You're still young at heart, so that's all that matters. Now, yeah. Dick Lux actually really helped uh, my race program in 2012 when I met him at the Englishtown National Event. Uh, Dick was having some electrical issues, and I was having some transmission issues, shifting my uh, Doug Nash transmission at the time. So... We helped each other out, and Dick really helped my family out with a Jericho transmission, the one that I still run to this day, and I was able to win a couple races with it, so if it wasn't for him, that would have never happened. So, Dick, we appreciate your generosity. He's a very generous person. He donates to charities. He's got a love for this country and a love for his veterans, and we can't say enough about him. Everyone needs to give back. Well, thank you very much. Uh, Dick, and good luck to you for the rest of the weekend. Take care. Thank you.